To do that, all you have to do is right click the start button and then select Windows PowerShell with admin. And then once that is opened, type systemreset.exe. So doing that, hit enter. And there you go, this will open the system reset tool. And now you can choose to keep your files or you can choose to remove everything. Now keep in mind if you choose the option that says to keep your files, it will still remove the programs, but it will keep the files. For example, if you have Microsoft Word, it would remove Microsoft Word, but it would keep the Word documents. You will just have to reinstall Microsoft Word later. So once you are sure about this, proceed and there you go your PC will have a fresh new start, just like it was when it was brand new. Mm, but what if you don't want to reset your PC and you want to keep it? Well, this takes us to the second way of fixing this and this may be hard to accept for some people, really, but I have to be honest here. The truth is, your computer may be too old and it may need to be changed. Oh, but how do I know that? I like my computer, how do I know if it's too old? Well, if you bought your computer more than 12 years ago, for example, there is a good chance that it's too old. And if it is too old, you may be wondering, okay, but I'm not in a position to get another one. The next steps will explain other things you can do. But the first way I showed you, which is by doing a system reset, would really be a good option because it resets everything back to the way it was when you first bought it. So please consider that first, especially if you're running an old PC. All right, so now let's see if your computer needs to be changed. To do that, simply right click or press and hold if you have a touch screen, an empty area on the taskbar and then select task manager. And if you see this small window, click more details. Great, so this is the task manager in its full view. Now go to the performance tab and here's what to pay attention to. Where it says memory, make sure it's not less than four. If it is, then please consider getting another PC recommended amount it should be eight or more where it says disk make sure it's not an hdd if it's an hdd then consider getting another pc and make sure you buy a computer with an ssd a solid state drive and when you are buying a new pc you can tell the tech person i want a computer with a solid state drive ssd he'll completely understand and get you the right pc so overall memory should be four or more recommended eight and the storage should be an SSD because if performance is low in these areas, then the CPU will have to work even harder. All right. The third way to fix the high CPU usage problem on Windows 10 is by scanning for malware and viruses. To do that, all you have to do is click start and then type <laughs> virus. And now from the search results, select virus and threat protection. Great. As you can see, you can do a quick scan, but if you click on scan options, there you go. As you can see, it gives you the option to do a full scan. So go ahead and do a full scan and try to see if it detects any viruses in your PC because viruses can really use up a lot of resources and it can make the high CPU usage even worse. 